Revelation chapter 10. And I saw another strong messenger coming down out of heaven, clothed with a cloud and a rainbow on the head, and his face as the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little scroll opened, and he placed his right foot on the sea and the left on the land. And he cried with a great voice as a lion roars. And when he cried, the seven thunders spoke out their voices. And when the seven thunders spoke their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice out of heaven saying to me, Seal the things that the seven thunders spoke, and you may not write these things. And the messenger whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land lifted up his hand to the sky and swore by him who lives through the ages of the ages, who created the sky and the things in it, and the land and the things in it, and the sea and the things in it. That time will not be yet, but in the days of the voice of the seventh messenger, when he may be about to sound the trumpet, and the secret of God may be accomplished, as he declared to his own servants, to the prophets. And the voice that I heard out of heaven is again speaking with me and saying, Go, Take the little scroll that is open in the hand of the messenger who has been standing on the sea and on the land. And I went away to the messenger, saying to him, Give me the little scroll. And he says to me, Take and eat it up, and it will make your belly bitter, but in your mouth it will be sweet as honey. And I took the little scroll out of the hand of the messenger and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And when I ate it, my belly was made bitter. And he says to me, You must again prophesy about many peoples and nations and tongues and kings.